Thank you for volunteering at a water stop for Mohawk Hudson River Marathon and Half Marathon, directed by the Hudson Mohawk Roadrunners Club. We will explain the setup and procedures for operating a water station at the Mohawk Hudson River Marathon and Half Marathon. There are 13 water stations on the course. The first six stations between Schenectady and Colony serve runners in the marathon. The last seven stations between Colony and Albany will serve runners and walkers in the marathon and the half marathon. With over 1,000 runners and walkers passing each water stop, it is important that all water stations provide consistent service so that participants know what to expect. Each water station will be provided with the following supplies. Tables, 7-ounce cups, 1-gallon jugs of water, 1-gallon jugs of Gatorade, plastic gloves, trash bags, paper towels, trash boxes, a water station ahead sign, and a set of instructions. These supplies will be dropped off at your water station location early on race day morning. The supplies will be there before you arrive. There are also two spots on the course where goo energy gel will be distributed. One is located at water station number 4 at Lyons Park in Niskayuna, and the other at water station number 9 at Alexander Park in Cohoes. The goo station should be set up approximately 25 feet before and on the same side of the road or trail as the water station. Arrive at your water station at the time designated by your water station captain and locate your supplies. A set of instructions will be with your supplies. Please follow these closely so there is consistency between all of the water stations and participants know what to expect. Begin by setting up tables on one side of the road or bike path, the side of the road where you found your supplies. Do not set up tables on both sides of the road. If your water station will include a goo station, the first table participants should see will be the goo table, followed by the Gatorade tables and then the water tables. All other water stations should be set up with the Gatorade tables first, followed by the water tables. The Gatorade and water tables should be separated by about 10 feet and should be placed on the same side of the road or bike path. Place the water station ahead sign about 100 yards before the water stop in the direction the runners will be coming from. If your water station will include a goo station, you will receive a water and goo ahead sign. Place this sign about 100 yards before the goo table in the direction the runners will be coming from. Place the trash boxes about 50 to 100 yards past the last water table. This will reduce your cleanup time later and enable participants to get more cups into the garbage. Your water station captain will assign you to a variety of tasks that need to be completed, including pouring Gatorade and water into individual cups, passing out water, Gatorade, or goo to athletes, and cleaning up discarded cups and goo wrappers. Fill the Gatorade and water cups only half full. This is easier for the participants to handle, avoids spillage, and conserves your water and Gatorade. Participants who want more will take more cups. Water and Gatorade should be poured into clean cups only. Please do not open water or Gatorade jugs until needed. A sufficient supply of cups of water and Gatorade should be poured before runners and walkers arrive. Use the stacking sheets to prepare two to three layers of half-filled cups of water and Gatorade. Water stations numbers 1 through 6 should initially prepare a large number of cups, or approximately 75% of your supply. Water stations numbers 7 through 13 should initially prepare at least 40% of your supply, but keep replenishing your supply of water and Gatorade cups as needed throughout the day. Please use care handling liquids and wear the plastic gloves, especially when passing out water and Gatorade. Keep your work area clean to avoid contamination. When the first participants arrive, the majority of your volunteers should stand in front of the tables and hand the cups to the runners, calling out loudly what they have. <laughs> the Gatorade team should yell Gatorade, and water group should yell water, and the goo team should yell the flavor of goo they are passing out. Volunteers should stay out of the road and off the bike path as much as possible. 
This will keep traffic flowing and keep participants from causing congestion at the tables. Do not go to a runner or walker. They will come to you if they want water or Gatorade. Hold the cup by the lip with two fingers or with an open palm face up. Do not hold the cup as you usually drink from a cup as that causes the contents to spill. Additional volunteers should be behind the tables refilling cups for the volunteers passing out Gatorade or water. Keep the road and bike path clear by picking up empty cups, goo packets, and other debris and disposing of all garbage in the trash bags provided. All water station captains should have a cell phone and will be provided the telephone number for the Race Communication Center. Any issues that cannot be solved should be reported to the Race Communication Center immediately. If a life-threatening situation to a participant or volunteer okay. arises, call 911 immediately. Get the name of the injured or the participant's bib number. Have someone stay with the participant or volunteer until help arrives. After calling 911, your water stop captain or designee must call the Race Communications Center with the bib number and or name of the injured, location, and brief description of the incident. In an effort to have everyone prepared for possible emergencies and make the race as safe as possible, we urge all volunteers to take one minute to learn hands-only CPR from the American Heart Association. A link to their video can be found on the Mohawk Hudson River Marathon website, www.mohawkhudsonmarathon.com, under Latest News. For all other non-life-threatening injuries or incidents, including requests by participants for a ride to the finish, the water stop captain or designee should contact the Race Communication Center as soon as possible, or ask the amateur radio operator at your water station to contact the Race Communication Center. Please be prepared to relay the person's name and or bib number, your location, the location of the person, and a brief description of what is needed. If additional supplies are needed, the water station captain or designee should call the Race Communications Center as soon as possible or ask the amateur radio operator at the water station to contact the Race Communications Center. Additional supplies will be delivered to you, but remember that it may take time for race officials to reach your location. Please plan accordingly. Here are some tips to make your volunteer experience a good one. Please wear the volunteer shirt or hat provided. This will make you easily identifiable to participants and spectators as a race volunteer. Be prepared for all kinds of weather. It's a good idea to bring extra clothes, comfortable footwear, a raincoat or umbrella. Wear sunscreen and bring bug spray, especially if you will be located at a water stop on the bike path. Bring food and drink for yourself as you will not have an opportunity to leave during the event. Bring a cell phone. Work with your team and use your prep time wisely. Finally, have fun. While your goal is to provide hydration and safety for participants, you also have an opportunity to support, encourage, and cheer on the runners and walkers. Water stations should remain open for the final runners and walkers, even if that occurs after the course officially closes. Please stay at your water station until you are advised by your water station captain to close down your station. After the event, tie all trash bags closed and gather them into one pile on the side of the road or bike path where you found your supplies in the morning. We will recycle empty water and Gatorade jugs, so please keep them separate from the trash. In a second pile, collect all remaining supplies, including the full and empty plastic Gatorade and water jugs, and leave these supplies next to the pile of trash bags. Break down the tables and lay them next to the two piles. A truck will collect the trash bags and leftover supplies and recyclables. Any further instructions will come from your water station captain. Thank you for taking the time to watch our water station training video. With the help of well-trained water station volunteers, the Mohawk Hudson River Marathon and Half Marathon will continue to be a fun and safe community event. Enjoy the day! Have fun! Woo!